Greetings one, greetings all. My name is Brian Polito, the publisher of Coffin Comics, and today I am with Mike McLean. Mike McLean is a co-writer on everything Coffin Comics, and check this out. Today, right now, we're gonna to introduce to you our 2025 publishing schedule. I can't believe it, 2025, on the way. As we sit, we're done with just about all of them, working on Hell Witch Executioner. Oops, I just even told you one. Whoa, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Shall we, everybody? going to reveal to you our 2025 publishing schedule and we're going to get into it. We have uh, eight stories we're going to tell throughout the course of 2025 and let's talk about the first one coming out in February. That one is called Lady Death Savage Reign. I'm going to talk to you about it. Here's how it goes. Trapped in a barbaric realm ruled with an iron fist by the vengeful sorceress Crucibella. Lady Death finds herself without her sword and without her powers. Hired by a tribal queen to retrieve a treasure stolen by Crucibella's bounty hunters, Lady Death's success brings ruination to the tribe. Consumed by vengeance, Lady Death intends to make Crucibella pay with her life. But how can she prevail against such a powerful, wicked foe? And what nefarious secrets lie buried in the stolen treasure that Crucibella is so desperate to possess? An epic tale of sword and sorcery brought to you by Coffin Comics. Any thoughts about that one? Uh, it, it just sounds awesome. Very heavy Conan vibes. Yes. I, I just can't wait for people to see it and get into it. It's been a fun artistic challenge for the cover artists too. Because, you know, we're this is straight up sword and sorcery. We are disconnecting Lady Death from her present day continuity. And she's in a whole nother place. So this is, and without her powers, without her weapons. Whoa, okay, so uh, Mike, would you like to introduce the next one, which is March's La Muerta Nemesis. La Muerta Nemesis, chapter 11 already. La Muerta Nemesis, when an innocent child witnesses her mother's brutal killing, Maria Diaz can promise only one thing, vengeance. But this is no simple murder. Maria must obey, must become the street vigilante La Muerta once again and track the killer to New Orleans. There, she is plunged into a shadowy world of secrets and sacrificial bloodshed, which lead her to a, on a collision course with Madame Midnight, Midnight, Hoodoo Priestess of New Orleans. Without Santa Muerta to guide her, La Muerta, can La Muerta uncover the dark truth? Or will she fall prey to the vicious, unkillable Baron X? Bonus story, are we talking about this? Dude, let's talk about the bonus story. Right, it's a big one. Bonus story for the first time ever, La Muerta battles the one and only she. That's right, a tale of blazing bullets and martial arts madness. Don't miss it, it's she and La Muerta together for the first time. That is so cool. Yeah, so myself and Billy Tucci basically traded characters. So Lady Death is gonna be in a storyline those guys are doing and we got she. So. I, the, the, the tale that you crafted is rad, so I think people are really going to enjoy it. And I love the idea of bringing uh, this Mexican-American culture in direct conflict and in visual conflict with the New Orleans hoodoo vibe. So I think folks are going to enjoy this one too. And that's another fun set of challenges for cover artists. And returning team on that one, that is uh, Joel Gomez illustrating as we speak, so it's great. All right, let's get into the next one, shall we? Lady Satanis, looks that kill, number one. As promised, this story is set in the heyday of hair metal, late 80s Sunset Strip. In 1988 Los Angeles, Sunset Strip becomes a heavy metal mecca of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And Lady Satanis is there for it. From wild nightclubs to hedonistic penthouse parties, the devil's daughter raises hell. Too bad a demonic serial killer shows up to ruin her good time. Soon, nowhere is safe as the psycho leaves a gruesome trail of butchered bodies in its wake. To stop the murderers, Lady Satanis must confront her dark past and face one of hell's deadliest adversaries. A bloody hair metal thrill ride brought to you by Coffin Comics. Any thoughts on that one? Um, it got it's so much fun. I did a little research while we were working on this, and that time period is just, it's, it's a playground. It's a playground of lechery and, and a lethalness. It's good it's times. Good. It's good times. 
Believe it or not, like towards the end of that era, I got to go out for a weekend and spend a weekend on Sunset Strip at the height of hair metal. And it was amazing. It was just like tens of thousands of people with big hair. Such a good time. Um, Mike came up with some really clever twists in this story. And again, cover artist really responding to the theme. So I think we're all gonna have a good time with that. Fun. Yeah, we all benefit on that one. So Mike, what do we have next? It the looks next like one. The return of Lady Gunfighter in June, Condemnation. And that's the second part of the story that you guys are all getting right now. Um, Lady Gunfighter, shot and presumed dead. Lady Gunfighter has no time to heal. She and her loyal partner Pike have bloody work to do. Together, they journey to a nightmarish town on the edge of civilization to rescue a loved one from savage outlaws. But will the wicked gunslinger Jebediah Kane really allow them to escape? Or will he end his de or will his demonic pistol send Lady Gunfire straight to hell? A bullet-ridden supernatural western brought to you by Coffin Comics. Wow, this is uh, the promise of the premise. The second half, uh, I think you even tip people off and said to, for people to really expect the high octane thrills in the second chapter. So here it comes. Yeah, and if you remember, Joel was really hyping up the second chapter because he was having a lot of fun working on it. So. Yeah, and, and uh, Joel has completed his part, so we are deep into the coloring phase. So like all Coffin Comics comics, we're uh, deep into production and we'll ship it out on time. Yeah, that's a good one. I, uh, I really do hope people are interested in what we're going to show them on that yeah. one. Right on. Well, uh, I mean, and also thank you for everyone who backed the chapter yeah. one and enjoyed it. And we're starting to get good feedback on it. Thank you for that. All right, so next up is Lady Death, Immortal Deception. High upon a mystical floating island, Lady Death is caught in a war between the evil clan of dragon riders and a deadly serpent-worshipping cult. Now, to free a village of slaves, she must pit one against the other. Will Lady Death's sword be a match for serpent's fangs and dragon's breath? Will her wits overcome a warlord's blade and a witch's dark magic? Find out in this epic tale of monsters and mayhem, brought to you by Coffin Comics. Yeah, that's another fun one. Um, I think when we were going back and forth, I, I had the most general, tiniest idea of like, let's get Lady Death caught in between a dragon clan and serpents. And then I think you just went off on your own and came up with this cool premise and setting. And then it kind of took off from there. That was a lot of fun to work on. And I just can't wait to see more of those pages. Yeah, you'll notice too, like all the theme for our 2025 storylines, there's no overriding giant epic. These are uh, more intimate standalone stories and Lady Death is is not on our present day continuity. She is just cast into some other series of situations, you know, and, and why and how you'll have to you'll have to figure out how long she'll be there. That's just a whole nother thing. Yeah. So yeah, uh, next one, uh, looks like you get more. Yep, it's coming in September. Like more evolution. 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 So, narrowly escaping evisceration at the hands of the psychotic Riggsdale family, Mike Moore finds himself desperate and on the run. His metalhead friends have become killer mutants. His crush is a soul sucking ghost girl, and his only ally is a wise cracking rat. If he has any chance of survival, Mike must harness the dark power of his kill fist and face the Riggsdales head on. But can Mike defeat a cadre of kill crazy freaks and finally avenge his family? Or will he fall prey to a mad scientist twisted unholy plot? A tale of gore splattering horror brought to you by Coffin Comics. That's right. Well, we really were proud and happy and stoked that people backed Mike Morg and we got the green light to do chapter two, and sort of like a lot of these origin-like stories, that second half, man, just goes, it's rip roar. Yeah, so if you like chapter one, we uh, cordially invite you to back chapter two when we get around to it. I'll tell you, uh, man, some of the cover artists really knocked it out, and I already have like a bunch of covers for the new one, so, ooh, evolution is coming at you. Tell you what, Mike, why don't you jump on Hell Witch, and then I'll get the final one. Sure. So. Hell Witch, as Brian already relayed, a Hexecutioner, which is an amazing title. <laughs> Hexecutioner. Chapter 8 coming in October. I will let you know I spent a lot of time on these titles, by the way. I can tell. That's a great title. <laughs> um, a year from now, October, after Helligan's tragic events, Hell Witch returns to the underworld, a heartbroken, aimless warrior drowning her sorrows 
with sex and drugs. Then she's reluctantly forced into, an action, into action to protect an innocent human child in a savage quest through the civil war-torn ruins of hell. Stalked by savage flashers, fanatical fallen angels, and a puritanical demon cult. All the while, Hellwitch is on a collision course with one of the most lethal half-devils in all of hell, the sorceress assassin, Lady Satanus. Can Hellwitch triumph in their bone-shattering, hex-casting battle, or will Lady Satanus pummel Hellwitch into submission? Who will reign supreme? Hellwitch Executioner. Man, I'm stoked about this because, you know, the setting is right after the events of Helageddon. And, and I, I could tell you that it's civil war in hell. And there's a lot of, like, the demonic population are questioning themselves, hence this rise of the puritanical cult. And the question becomes, what is going to go on between Satanus and Hellwitch? Whose side are they on? You know, I, I, I promise a battle for sure. Like, what's going to come out of this? So. I don't know, any other thoughts of rumination? Well, it's really interesting because Helligan leaves its mark on both of that story and La Muerta Nemesis. Big so it's, time. It's really, they play a role in both those stories. You bet. Yeah, it's sort of like, I remember in the um, the Marvel series, Avengers, where the snap happened and they started dealing with right. the world after, or even the Battle of New York and the world after. And here in Helligan, post Helligan, we're definitely dealing with the effects emotionally on our various characters and people are left screwed. Guard, you know, they're no joke. All right, now for something completely different. Way at the end here, we have Lady Death Pirate Queen. This is a one shot. Shiver me timbers, matey. Not an imaginary story, not a hoax. Long ago, Lady Death, along with her skeleton crew, were merciless pirates who raided merchant ships during the Black Age of Piracy on the Blood Red Seas. But all that may be at an end as Lady Death robs the booty of Captain Mad Morgan Flintock. Vampire Pirate. So weigh anchor and set sail for a supernatural tale of adventure and terror, the likes of which you've never seen before. Now, this is going to be representing my classic story, Lady Death Pirate Queen. Originally, it was a 28 page story, but I just, I, I wanted to represent it. So we've expanded it now to 46 pages with all new artwork by Alison Rodriguez. And to say, that he has invested his very soul in the detail of this thing would be an understatement. These are like lush, big spreads and double pages and pa pages with just three panels on it, but insane detail. I was always very proud of this story and I would love to represent it to you. And just imagine this theme, Pirate Queen for cover artists, forget it. The stuff we've gotten in already by people like Mike Chrome and others and who's upcoming artists are bananas. So that's how we're gonna round out that year. So folks, this is the Coffin Comics 2025 publishing schedule. We cordially invite you to back each and every one of these stories and anything else you'd like to say to the people in the end? As always, thank you so much for the support for the last year. And we need you to, to help us support this upcoming schedule. Let's bring this madness to life together. With your passion and our imagination, the world is endless. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Brian Polito. You've been Michael Klein. Hey man, talk to you later. Thank you. <laughs>